Hey, this is Chris, and welcome to Winemaker TV. If you like beer, if you like wine, you like cider, and you ever thought about making it yourself, well, this is the place for you. If it's your first time here, please hit the uh, subscribe bu button and the little bell notification next to it, so uh, we'll let you know every time we come out with a new video. And today, we'll be making peach wine, so stay tuned. All right, to go over what uh, we'll need today, what I'm using today to make this peach wine, uh, of course, you got your one-gallon Demi John. I'm going to have two cans of white grape juice concentrate. And I have this I got from my local store not too far away. It's peach cider. It's uh, ingredients. It's peach juice, sugar, and that's it. 100% juice. And get this. This product can ferment after opening, causing buildup of gas. So that's what we want. We want to ferment, and we're going to not build up gas. We're going to put an airlock in so that our gas can release. And since all that's pretty sweet, I'm only going to use uh, one pound of sugar. We're going to have a uh, half a teaspoon of wine tannin. Also a half a teaspoon of peptic enzyme to help it clear. And I'm also going to be trying to put in uh, white grape juice and peach juice in here. This has no preservatives other than citric acid. So we're going to try this and see how it is. And have an airlock three-piece airlock is what I'm using today and we also have our yeast and today I'll be using my go-to yeast um, red star cuvee so let's get started okay first step what we're going to do today we're going to add a funnel we're going to add our sugar one pound of sugar Now we're going to add our peach cider. Next comes our white peach, white grape peach juice. Pour a little in. We sh shake it up, aerate this. And don't pour it all in just yet, because we're going to add our grapefruit, I um, mean you know, white grape juice concentrate and then we'll top it off we'll top it off with the rest of the juice two cans of this And if this uh, juice, this juice should be enough. If not, we'll just top it, top it the rest of the way up with uh, water. But I think this is going to be just fine. You want it about two inches. Yeah, this is perfect. Perfect amount. All right. Now we'll get our yeast ready. And we'll be right back. Now it's time to add the yeast. Like I said, I just pour it straight in. This is quick and simple. You're uh, just using 
using ingredients that I get from the grocery store and we'll add half a tablespoon of wine tannin all the ingredients and plus the plus the uh, directions will be in the show description along with uh, some Amazon affiliate links where you can get this stuff at in a start uh, wine starter kit and now we'll add our three-piece airlock give it a little shake get all this stuff shake we'll give it a sh some more shake and wrap things up and we'll be right back so that's how you make peach wine here's how it looks like it's going good so far so the yeast should kick up the next day or two and it should ferment for about uh, seven to ten days to two weeks and um, then we'll have some great tasting wine and my Georgia Bulldogs just uh, won the semifinal. They beat Oklahoma out in Pasadena, California. Go dogs in double overtime. So this is Chris with Winemaker TV. And that's all there is today. And uh, again, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification next to it. So you get notified whenever I come out with a new video. And that's it for today. Let's go drink some wine and celebrate.